Hey everyone, it's M3R Seriously, and welcome to my January haul for 2017. So this is the first haul for the month, and I gotta say, it was freaking crazy. I have over 130 volumes, I don't even know how I got this much in this short amount of time, but, like, this is just an absolutely epic haul, it's gonna be my best ever. So, can't wait to show you, and, you know, let's just get straight into it. I'm just going to give you a peek of the series that I got, and we will get into all this. As you can see, it is just greatness here. Oh, I can't believe it. It just looks amazing together. I had to move everything off my desk so I could fit all this into one, you know, frame. But yeah, let's just get straight into this. Alright, so before we get into all the manga, I just got some anime and just a game. So first up, I got Attack on Titan Wings of Freedom um, for PS4. This game has been so good. I actually can't believe how fun it's been. Like, it takes a little while to get used to, you know, using the maneuver gear and stuff, but it's actually really, really good. I'm really loving it. And you follow the um, exact storyline to the anime, too. So it's really, really cool. Then, of course, like always, I always, always get a few um, Studio Ghibli movies. I picked up only yesterday. This is one of the few Ghibli movies that I actually haven't seen. So yeah, looking forward to watching that. And then I also got The Cat Returns. This is a really good movie. Um, very entertaining. Alright, and then the other movie that I got was The Children Who Chase Lost Voices, or Journey to Agatha. This is one of my favourite anime movies of all time. So I had to get it on Blu-ray. Just because it's an absolutely gorgeous movie. The soundtrack's amazing, the story's awesome. Um, just beautiful animation. Just gorgeous movie. And last up, I ended up picking up the free Eternal Summer limited edition box set. So this comes with the Blu-ray and the DVD. Um, I absolutely love free and, you know, I was really happy to get this. It also comes with the art book, art cards and a sticker sheet. Yeah, I haven't even opened it yet because it just recently, whoops, it just recently came. But yeah, really, really happy to have this. They need to release season one in a box set. I don't know why they haven't yet. Alright, so I barely know where to start with this haul. So I think I'm going to go with my Japanese manga first. So first up I got One Piece. You know, I really needed to add this to the collection. Um, my Hero Academia. You know, another really great series. I really love the spines for My Hero Academia too. They look really good. Then I got Aoyohara Ride, which is the one manga that I really need to be released in English. Some of my favourite manga artists, Ayo Sakisaka. Her work is just gorgeous. And I don't know why they haven't released it in English yet, because it is popular enough. And then I got Nana Volume 1. You know, I'm a massive fan of Nana, so I had to pick this up. And then I also got the um, Nana Volume 7.8, which they kind of divided the um, Japanese series with. And they kind of go into like a bit of the characters and interviews with Ayazawa and stuff. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. And last up, of course, we have Berserk Volume 1. Um, everyone knows Berserk's awesome. I found this really cheap online, so I decided to just pick it up. Alright, so I guess I'll start with my smaller series that I got before we get into all that. Um, so I picked up Limit by Kyoko Tsunobu. She is the manga car of my favourite manga, Life. Um, yeah, this looked really interesting. This is her only other work that has been released in um, English, I'm pretty sure, and the only series that's actually complete. So, yeah, I decided to get all this um, while I could. I'm a real rip-off by Vertical. You know, I paid $16 for each volume, and you can just see how thin these are. So, yeah, I wasn't too happy about that price, but, you know, it's here now. And volume 6 completes this series. Alright, so next up we have my favourite part of this whole haul, and that is... I found No Longer Human, Volume 1, 2, and 3 complete. This is a very out of print manga, very hard to get, and can be very expensive. Like, I've seen this volume go for, advertised for like $150, which is crazy. Um, I can't believe I actually found this so cheap. Like, I've been, want I've been looking for this, like, no joke, for four or five months. And I actually ended up finding it, and, you know, these are in just such great condition, and I can't believe that. I actually own them. So yeah, very, very happy with this pickup. So next up, I just got a few copies of Berserk. I got Volume 1, which I'm really happy to have found. 
um, has not the reprinted spines. And then volume two. So now I have volume one, two, um, three, and five. So yeah, slowly getting there with Berserk. All right, and next up is another new manga that I'm really excited to start collecting, and that is Magi, volume one through 10. Like nowhere near up to date with this, but um, really looking forward to getting into Magi. I've heard really great things about it, and these covers and spines are absolutely gorgeous. Like, it's got to be one of the best spines um, ever. Like, these are just so detailed, and I'm really looking forward to getting into Magi. Yeah, Magi seems super interesting. Like, just look how great these spines look, and the covers, they're just gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I think there's over 20 volumes now in Magi, so... I'm going to read these 10, and if I really enjoy it, obviously pick up the rest. But yeah, really, really happy to have some Magi finally. Volume 10. So next up we have really the only continuing series that I ended up picking up, and that is Volume 20 of Attack on Titan. Um, you know, of course I can't miss Attack on Titan. It's one of my favourites. Just a brilliant series. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit behind on my new releases. You know, I don't have... The recent One Punch Man or Haikyuu, they're going to be coming um, next month. Just, yeah, I had enough manga for this month. And then I got a one-shot called Pink. Um, I just recently read this. It is really weird. Don't buy it. Um, yeah, it's basically about a girl who has to work as a prostitute to feed a pet crocodile. And yeah, it's very sexualized. Hopefully I don't open one, but yeah, the um, art style is really weird too. So yeah, I don't really recommend this. And then we finally got my first work by Junji Ito, which is Uzumaki. Uh, first horror manga that I own too. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about Uzumaki. Um, I really want to see if I enjoy Junji Ito's work. So yeah, I decided to pick up this. So as you can see here, we have just some greatness, and that is Vinland Saga. I picked up volume one last month, and then I decided I'm just going to buy all of Vinland Saga because I can't wait anymore. So I'm diving into Vinland Saga hopefully within the next couple days. Um, but yeah, I've just heard incredible things about this manga and you know, I just have to, I just had to get it. Um, volume 3 is now my favourite um, cover in my collection. Just absolutely stunning. And then we have book 4. Um, at least Makoto Yukimura's art oh, is just something else. Really, really fantastic. Um, book five, book six, this is a pretty cool cover too, book seven, and the final book, book eight, which was just a recent release. So yeah, like I said, I cannot wait to get into Vinland Saga. I'm definitely getting into it very, very soon. And then I have another work by Makoto Yukimura that I decided to pick up with Vinland Saga, just because this was another series that I really wanted to read, and that is Planets. I've heard really great things about this manga, um, really high quality, especially the pages. It's like photocopy paper. Um, yeah, like just really, really incredible art. So yeah, I picked up volume one and volume two, which completes the series. So looking forward to getting into Planets too. Alright, so we are kind of losing the background for my video now, but I managed to pick up all of 20th Century Boys by Naoki Urasawa. So really, really happy to finally have um, another work by him. You know, I've also heard incredible things about this manga, so looking forward to getting into it. So, yeah, just, I'll quickly go through all the covers, just because I don't want this video to be ridiculously long. But it's kind of hard when you have you know, over 130 volumes to get through. <laughs> so you could say this was a good month. So along with 20th Century Boys, I also have Pluto and Monster. So I'm getting a pretty decent Naoki Urasawa um, collection. He is one of my favourite manga cars, just brilliant stuff by him. Yeah, just really loving it. We've got volume 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19. I really like this color too. Such high quality releases from signatures um, from Viz. And then 21, which ends the 20th Century Boys. Oh no, sorry, 22 and 20th Century Boys. And then we move on to 21st Century Boys, Volume 1, and also Volume 2, which completes the series. So yeah, really happy to have all the 20th Century Boys. I got it for a great price, so yeah, can't wait to dive into that when I get a chance. Alright, next up we have the complete series of Full Metal Alchemist. I did get this in the box set, um, but also heard incredible things about this manga. So I actually ordered this last month. Um, for December, but it didn't end up coming till early January, so technically I didn't buy this for um, January sustain the industry, but you know, it ended up coming late, so I'm just gonna chuck it in um, Yeah, really looking forward to getting into Fullmetal Alchemist you know, People say it's just a fantastic series I um, haven't watched the anime, haven't read it, so I am looking forward to getting into it. Then we have volume 10, volume 11. Sorry if I'm rushing through these covers, I just don't want the video to end up being too long. Uh, volume 13, 14, 15, 16. This one's a really cool cover. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 and 27 the final volume um, yeah this cover is interesting but yeah so happy to have all from an alchemist and the box set also came with um, the light novel the ties that bind um, yeah I'm not a huge fan of light novels but you know I'll probably end up giving this a read all right so that completes um, full Metal alchemist and now we're moving on to just the last section of this um, manga haul. Alright, and just to end this manga haul, I managed to pick up nearly the complete series of Dragon Ball in these three ones. I know a lot of people complain about the quality, but you know, if you treat it well, it's not going to be too bad. Like, yeah, it's kind of flimsy, but you know, I'm just happy to own Dragon Ball. I basically only paid for uh, three of these volumes, and then the rest were basically free. So yeah, I'm not complaining that I own them in three months. You know, I'm just happy to be able to read Dragon Ball. I don't really care which way. But yeah. Um, Dragon Ball was a part of my childhood. I don't remember much of it now. It was mainly my brother who was interested and I'd just kind of sit and watch him um, play it or, you know, watch the anime. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading Dragon Ball because, yeah, I remember like a bunch of the characters and everything, but I don't remember much of the story. But yeah, so I just need to get two more um, books and then that completes Dragon Ball, which I'll probably pick up for um, February. But yeah, and this is the final volume, uh, volume 34, 35, and 36. So yeah, so just need to get two more of these and then I have complete Dragon Ball. All right, so that is it for this haul, guys. Um, hopefully it wasn't too long. I Tried to get through it as fast as I can, but you know, it's kind of hard having over a hundred volumes. So yeah, this was a freaking crazy month. As you could tell, just really great series and um, I decided to upload this before my manga collection just because there's so much here and, you know, I didn't want to spoil it in my manga collection video. But that's basically nearly done, so I'll probably upload it in the next day or two um, after this. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe for more content. And yeah, like I said, keep an eye out for that updated manga collection video because it is coming and it, it is awesome. Like, 
nearly 550 volumes I think I'm at now, so yeah, look forward to it and yeah, I'll see you in my collection video.